Hey everyone, you are Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thanks so much for joining us today. Here we've got the Fronius Watt Pilot Go J22 portable charger that's charging three phase 11 kilowatts for the Tesla Model Y and it's charging using a five pin 32 amp three phase socket. And we're doing it here at a showground here in Sydney and it's powering the Model Y at 11 kilowatts. It's got the capacity to charge at 22 kilowatts for a future EV that can do that, but it's great to have a portable electric vehicle charger charging at three phase. Let's break it down for you. All right, so I've unplugged everything and deconstructed it all so that I can uh, set it up again for you guys at home to show how it all works. So here's the product in question. So as you can see, Fronius, which is a very well-known brand uh, made in Austria, uh, they were very well known for their uh, solar power inverters. Uh, but they have now started doing uh, EV charges, which is great for us EV owners. Uh, very well constructed, uh, good sturdy uh, box of hard uh, and durable plastic. And you can see if I lift this flap up, it's a Type 2 socket there. So of course you'll also need to buy a Type 2 EV uh, cable, which I'll go through as well. And uh, this is also connected to an app which you can download from your App Store or Google Play. You can have Eco Mode and also uh, Next Ride Mode, which uh, essentially switches from excess solar to uh, charging it quickly for your next uh, EV ride. Also comes with an RFID chip like that. So that essentially helps you uh, keep this unit secure. If, for example, you live in a multi-unit facility or if you uh, only want to use it for yourself, you can program so that this uh, must be tapped onto the box for it to be used. It can program up to 10 of these chips uh, to allow multiple users. Okay, at the other end we've got a three phase uh, five pin plug like that. And that of course goes into the socket. And uh, most of you will recognize that this is available at a lot of showgrounds and also camping sites as well. Uh, you can get adapters that switch from five pin to three pin or four pin. All right, let's plug in and we'll demonstrate how this works. So. Up here at the socket, uh, you just have to check out what uh, voltage and amperage they are. Normally these five pin sockets are 32 amp, uh, 500 volt three phase, which you can look at up here. And I've got a photo of it already, as you can see on the screen there. There are other five pin types that are only 20 amps, so just be aware there are two different sizes. But this one is the one we're after. Um, and I'll show you the profile as well on the uh, plug there, 32 amps, 500 volts. Okay, let's uh, plug in. So you've got to just nestle it in like that, make sure it's securely into the socket and then rotate this uh, orange dial to make sure it's all secure. Okay, so that's in and that's nice and secure there. And uh, make sure you turn the isolation switch on as well. Most of these, if they're installed properly, will have an isolation switch. There you go. Okay, let's have a look down here at the unit. So if it's working, you'll see some lights flashing initially and then uh, you'll see it flashing like that, that blue light is what we want. All right, so if it's all plugged in and uh, set up correctly, then you'll see there is a white light there, which you can uh, toggle with this button here. And the first white uh, light is for eco mode, and that uses excess solar from your Fronius inverter to power your EV. And then you can flick it to the next light, which is essentially the next ride mode, and that charges at the maximum available from the grid or from your supply. And see how there's um, 10 blue lights here. So that indicates 10 amps. If you want to go faster than 10 amps, you hold this black button down for two seconds. Okay, that'll bring it to 16. There should be 16 blue lights. Uh, just trust me, I've counted. And of course, if you want to increase the amperage, then just uh, keep pressing this black button. You'll see there's a few more there. That's probably 20. Press it again, that's probably 24. And then one more time, another eight blue lights. So that's the full 32 amps right there. Okay, so the absolute beauty of this product is that it's portable. That's probably the number one selling point. Even though it's portable, it's actually got a mounting bracket as well on the back, as you can see right there. So that fits in like that. And so you can actually install this mounting bracket at home, right? It comes with included screws for it to install onto your wall on your garage or, or carport. And then you can, you know, uh, easily unhook this to bring on the road with you or leave it at home to charge and again that's a great selling point for this product uh, it is on the higher side compared to uh, other products like the tesla gen 3 destination charger uh, this you're looking at in europe i've seen prices for about 900 euro for this portable uh, 22 go watt pilot from fronius 
Uh, you can't actually buy it directly from Fronius. You've actually got to go through a reseller. So what I suggest you do is probably if you've got solar panels, uh, ask your solar installer, see whether they're a Fronius reseller. Otherwise, make a direct inquiry to Fronius. They can help you out. And on the Fronius website also, there are uh, wholesalers and resellers as well uh, for you to look at. Now, there's also two other variants of the Watt Pilot. There's the Watt Pilot Home 11 and Watt Pilot Home 22. The 22 is actually essentially the same as this product. It's just not portable and it's hardwired to your meter board. The 11, I probably wouldn't recommend because even though you can charge at uh, single phase with the 11, you can only get three kilowatt charging with single phase. If you want single phase seven kilowatt charging, you have to go to the Watt Pilot 22. So it makes sense just to upgrade to the 22 or get the portable if you want to carry this with you. Of course, uh, Tesla Model 3 and Y and most modern EVs are 11 kilowatts, so you are limited by the car's onboard charger. But future-proofing yourself, uh, if cars do come with 22 kilowatt chargers one day, uh, this is the right product to get. Okay, so something else to note about the Fronius Watt Pilot Go is that you do need to purchase a Type 2 EV cable. And this one is available from our good friends at EVSE. Make sure you check them out, 5% off with my coupon code TeslaTom site-wide. And I do recommend getting uh, the three-phase cable, just a future proof again. They do come in seven kilowatts and 22 kilowatts, so make sure you get the 22 kilowatt three-phase cable. And this one is a five meter cable, so I wouldn't go any lower or shorter than five meters, uh, maybe seven meters to be safe, but five meters normally does uh, reach long enough uh, for most situations. All right, so let's demonstrate how this works. So let's plug in this end for the Type 2 EV cable into the Fronius Watt Pilot Go. All right, so there we are. Okay, and then the other end goes into the Tesla Model Y, which we've got here on loan from viewer Ross again. Thank you so much, Ross, for loaning us this car while you're away. So, press the charge port there, flicks open. Let's plug in. So that starts to flick blue there and then turns green, which means the car is charging and you'll see on the Watt Pilot Go, see the lights rotating around the charger. I'll just uh, let you see that before I check out the car's onboard charging rate. So these are all good signs. It means that the charger is working. All right, so here we are inside the car and uh, I'll just go through the car's onboard charging stats. So current state of charge for the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive, 44%. Green icon indicates it's charging. At the current rate, it's going to be three hours and 45 minutes here at this location. Now, this is the magic number, 11 kilowatts. And that makes me really happy because this is about as fast as you'll get with a portable EV charger of this caliber. So that makes me really happy. And that number three that indicates it's charging at three phase, 16 amps, we're getting 234 volts uh, from the supply. And charge limit is 100% because it's a LFP lithium iron phosphate battery for this rear wheel drive model Y. And I can hear you asking me how fast is 11 kilowatts? Well, you can actually change the display to uh, distance instead of percentage. As you'll see, it has uh, changed to kilometers per hour. So there we go, 63 kilometers an hour um, that's how fast this uh, Watt Pilot is charging. So, you know, if you want a, another 100 kilometers of range, then just charge you for probably an hour and a half and you're good to go. Or depending on how far away your next DC charger is, this is a nice backup option for sure. And faster still compared to the Tesla native UMC plugging into a, a 10 amp socket, this will only get you two uh, kilowatts with the 10 amp socket and then three kilowatts with the 15 amp uh, plug. So essentially at 11 kilowatts, this is charging at five times or more than five times faster than the native uh, slow charger from Tesla. Okay, and stopping the charge and unplugging is just as easy. We just have to use our favorite black button here. So press this twice to flick over to the first white light. And this flashing blue light is a good sign, it means everything is off. This technically is in eco mode, but because we're portable charging, we don't have to worry about that too much. And then we go to the car over here, and we know it's off because uh, the white Tesla symbol is up as opposed to the green symbol. And it's literally just pulling out like that, and the charge port should shut as uh, demonstrated on cue there. And then when it comes to the uh, charger itself, uh, I would flick off the isolator switch first, from on to off, okay. And then you can unplug this uh, orange plug. Just uh, rotate the dial this way, anti-clockwise. Lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. Then just wiggle, wiggle. 
I don't know, it comes out like that. And the last thing to do is to unplug the Type 2 cable from the product. Okay, it does take a little, little bit of persuasion, but uh, not too bad. And I should also tell you that this product, I weighed it in the kitchen uh, the other day, 2.2 kilograms. I'm not that strong, but it's easy enough to carry in one hand. And uh, stick this in your car's cargo, boot, frunk or front bonnet if you've got one, and away you go. Okay everyone, this is the Fronius Watt Pilot Go 22. I highly recommend it. If you haven't already got a home charger installed, uh, I think this serves a great purpose being able to charge at home and then being able to take it with you on the road it's a little bit pricey i must admit and you've also got to buy a type 2 ev cable which i recommend anyway i think you should have a type 2 ev cable sitting in your car uh, just as a backup and that's a good thing to have if you want a incidental top-up charge even in the city thanks for watching everyone and thank you very much to fronius again for uh, allowing me to review this product i'll leave all the product links below in my video description as usual Otherwise, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and as always, happy charging. And let's be good citizens, and uh, we'll just close up shop here. And this is just a stick. Okay, leave it for the next user.